Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's Team Boss here. This is by Blackie Speaks. It's titled Lil Nas X is getting canceled for this. Again, again. Sit down somewhere. Goodness. He does this on purpose. Just, just drop your music. Why does there always have to be some nonsense and buffoonery surrounding your name that you conjure up? Why? Whatever. Let's see what's going on with him now. Let's watch. Now it looks like Lil Nas X is getting canceled. Again? Once again. What's going on with you today? Hope you're staying blessed out there, Mike. I am. And thank you for joining me today, by the way. I appreciate you for showing up. Did you call me your fan or fam? Bless out there, Mike. And thank you for joining me today, by the way. I appreciate you for showing up. If you want to thank me for showing up for you ahead of time, you can always drop a like on the video. Appreciate you. Today, I want to have a little conversation about this recent Lil Nas X story. So if you guys aren't aware of what's currently going on, well, let me tell you a little bit about it. He so Lil Nas X, I'm sure you're familiar with the name, and I'm sure you're familiar with the face. Lil Nas X, as we speak, is caught up in some controversy once again, and this time he's getting canceled for mocking Christianity. We touched on this topic a couple weeks I ago when was... Lil Nas X was making headlines for dropping a snippet of a song on his social media account where he was seemingly mocking Christianity. Or really, I wouldn't really say that he was mocking Christianity That's on that particular song, snippet right? because in that snippet he was kind of talking to God through the lyrics. Give me hope when I feel less, he said on a snippet. And also, this was the more controversial part, he wore a shirt that said, if God doesn't exist, then who's laughing at us? Question mark. So this entire story was hitting the headlines pretty hard a few weeks back. A lot of Christians were coming out and slamming Lil Nas X for the seeming and mockery of emotion? Christianity. Now this entire thing was a part of a rollout shit, for though. a record that he was apparently supposed to drop. So that's kind of what rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Are you really coming on here seemingly mocking Christianity just to promote this music that you're about to drop? That's what a lot of people were saying and that's why he got so much negative Feedback. Now this song right here that he was supposed to drop has officially been released. It's titled J Christ oh and it just Lord. dropped yesterday along with a music video. Why now it was right after the cover to this show. J Christ record. I was about to say crusty ass, but there's nothing crusty about this image. He is very well moisturized and lubricated. But why would you why would you get up on this cross? Yeah, he's he's getting corny. He's he's giving doja as far as doing these things to stir up controversy and to get people talking, to draw attention to his music. I feel like he's talented enough where he does not need to do all of this for for engagement and for attention. Like, what are all these antics for? And it just doesn't even feel genuine. Like, some artists are controversial. Like, they, they have controversy and it, it feels... It feels authentic to them. Kanye, for example, <laughs> he's actually off in the head. So whenever he is saying some wild shit, I don't feel like that's an act. That's just who he is. So it feels very genuine. This feels fake, okay? It feels like you're doing this just so people can talk. So that is what's making it corny for me was announced by Lil Nas X that the backlash started coming in. If you're looking at the screen, here's the cover. If you're not looking at the screen, essentially Lil Nas X is on a cross. And that's the cover to this record that he just dropped. So this, along with the history of him seemingly mocking Christianity, essentially led to Nas, Lil Nas X, getting all this pushback from a lot of people, but more specifically from the Christian community. One of the more notable people who called Lil Nas X out was streamer Kai Sinat. Now Kai was, oh. I'm guessing he was doing like a little stream on his platform, and essentially he decided to go off on Lil Nas X, and hey, he said a couple things. So let me show you this clip right here. No! Yo, Lil Nas X, you could eat my hoes. I hate that, bro. Oh. Nah, that's just hugging my head, bro. That, bro, nah, word of the mother, bro. God's oh. gonna handle you in the right way. I, I didn't even talk about that yet, bro, but look. Oh. God's gonna handle you, bro. And you're no, bro. What he did? No, bro. God's gonna handle that. Real dude. Nah, bro, I'm not even gonna explain it, bro. Bro, bro, oh, he mad, man. Bro. I don't hear Kai talk shit this aggressively about people. So this must really hit a nerve for him. I didn't know he was like a strong Christian. Well, obviously, I don't know this man, so I don't know what the fuck he does. Um, but yeah, this hit a nerve. I don't hear him talk like this. Tell me how you just like it, cause it, yeah, bro, you can't be on that bad time. I'm just sitting in the corner on bad time. Go on his page, bro. Hey, yo, he just put, he just put, he just put God himself. That's 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 Christianity. Like Christianity? Yeah, he just put the whole culture. He was mocking. He was mocking it. Yes, mocking. Not the culture. 
So as you could hear, Kai Sinet went in. Ooh. And this clip right here of Kai calling out Lil Nas X has been going super viral. Now, a lot of people were on Kai Sinet's side because from their perspective, Lil Nas X is definitely mocking Christianity. So fuck this guy. How are we going to let this guy do what he's doing just for the sole purpose of promoting yeah, his music? His, That's blasphemy what he's doing. His Ain't cloud no chase and his that. This guy better get canceled. Now, aside from the people who agree with Kai, there's also a lot of people on the other side who don't agree with Kai Sinet's perspective. And a lot of those people are just as loud as Kai. This one user who posted this tweet on Twitter that got over 10,000 retweets and over 110 likes said the following, Kai respectfully shut the hell up. You have all these other artists on your platform that promote killing, stealing, drugs, cheating, and not to mention, uh, you I just had a little ass that. kid. I'm not saying training. that makes it acceptable, but someone's religion is very different than someone rapping about killing stealing drugs etc and let's be real a lot of these rappers they just be talking they don't do none of the shit <laughs> that they talking about these niggas are rich as hell in their mansions living a, a regular life so they're not actively doing these things but yeah i guess you're saying they they're still promoting it so sure but i don't know i just feel like that's kind of, that's different that raps about killing he's talking about that nine-year-old rapper lil rt i really despise what the industry is doing with that little child yeah. it's absolutely disgusting and this person by the way who posted a tweet they're actually speaking facts because kai did have him on a stream and that little kid on but this little boy was doing little boy shit if you actually watch the stream i reacted to the highlights over on my second channel and he was just being a kid he was playing games with him so that's a bad example Kai Strain did say that he's gonna a woman, which I thought was just, I mean, I don't wanna talk too much about oh, that kid, I didn't but see that. it was absolutely disgusting. But finishing off this tweet, and not to mention, you just had a little like I said, I only kid watched on the highlights. stream that raps about killing. Y'all be picking and choosing what can slide. So this tweet right here is kinda like the highlight of all the responses summed together on Twitter. Just in general though, this is a pretty freaking big story right now. Like it's going ultra viral and obviously a boy does have a couple of things to say about this. So let's talk a little bit about it. So first of all, let's start here. Lil Nas X is not really doing anything that hasn't been done before. If you've been paying but attention- But fuck Kai. To like, and I, I don't mean that literally. <laughs> Obviously not literally. But aside from him, it's not even about Kai. Why are you focus on Kai? You focus on the wrong shit. Focus on the matter at hand, which is that he on some bullshit. Lil Nas X is on some bullshit. So Kai is calling out Lil Nas X being on some bullshit. And now you focus on what Kai is doing. That's not the point. <laughs> Focus on the message. I guess you would have been better off saying right message, wrong messenger. You'd be better off saying that and keeping it pushing. Because now you're putting the focus on Kai and who he's supporting and what type of music he listens to. That's irrelevant when we're talking about this matter at hand, which is he's disrespecting people's religion, which they hold near and dear to their heart. Something that is very touchy and you don't really play with. So I understand why a lot of people are upset things in the music industry. This is not the first time a rapper has depicted themselves as God, more specifically Jesus. Kanye West, like a lot of us know, Kanye in 2013, Kanye dropped is... this project called Yeezus. And on one of the songs called I Am A God, pretty self-explanatory, was told... saying that he is a God and people were actually calling him God. And then in 2006, when Kanye was on the cover of Rolling Stone, he, as you can see, depicted himself as Jesus help. on this magazine cover He's right literally here. literally on medication. And also had the late great Tupac on his The Seven Day Theory album hmm. cover, where if you're looking at that the screen, Tupac time. is hanging from a cross. I'm sure people were still upset, Jesus. though. However, there's an excerpt on the cover that explicitly states, in no way is this portrait an expression of disrespect for Jesus Christ. And then also Kendrick Lamar. I feel like this one is kind of overlooked. Now for Kendrick, however, there was a lot of intricacies to him doing this. Like as an example, he did this as he was performing the song Savior, where he specifically states on a song, I am not your savior. Essentially, he was drawing correlations between himself and Christ as a way to convey the message that he himself, as a public figure and as someone who a lot of people look up to, he's not perfect. And as a matter of fact, he's very imperfect. So there's way yeah, more examples, but these are some of the most famous and most notorious ones. Now, Lil Nas X is essentially doing the same thing here. Now, the main uh, difference between him and these other different. artists who did this is that, number one, Lil Nas X doesn't have as much class as these other artists when he's doing this. Because now he's kind of known for being like an internet troll, which none yeah. of these artists who I mentioned are considered as. Despite oh, the controversies of someone like Kanye, he's still very much respected. And obviously, Kendrick is very well respected. And Pac is a freaking legend, right? So Lil Nas X putting himself on a cross versus Tupac putting himself on he a cross. He is a bar troll. 
Listen, be viewed from is <laughs> like not that's, be that, they're not the same. same. Also, not forget that Lil Nas X is a guy who not only is known as an internet troll, but there's a lot of people out there who, first of all, they don't respect him because he indulges in a lot of antics. So no matter how much good music Lil Nas X drops, and no matter how talented he actually is, there's an immense subset of people out there who Lil Nas X is never going to be able to win over. He's simply never going to be able to get on the good side of these people, no matter what he does. Now, personally, I don't feel offended by this because I'm not a devoted Christian, nor am I Christian, period. But I will say that I totally understand why there's a lot of people out there who see what Lil Nas X is doing and they don't like this at all. They feel like this is disrespectful. They feel like this is Very. blasphemy. And they don't want to put up with anyone making a mockery of their religion. And honestly, I don't really think you can be mad at those people at all. Because among politics and race, religion is one of those very sensitive topics that most people just don't play with. Especially those people who consider themselves as a, in this case, devoted Christian. So I don't really think you should be pointing the finger at anyone who feels any type of way about what Lil Nas X is doing. Because again, religion, it's a very touchy thing to play with. And also too, speaking of that, I don't really even think Lil Nas X needs to indulge in any antics because I think his music is good enough Hello, for to be it carried speaks by. for itself. Now, thing, but obviously Lil Nas X does not agree. But part of the reason why I think Lil Nas X is actually doing this, there's actually an explanation to this, or I want to say a possible explanation because I ain't inside his head. So I don't really know why he's doing what he's doing. But what he's doing right here definitely leans towards the same reason why he dropped the Call Me By Your Name music video where he was of course doing a little dance on the damn. One of the reasons why he dropped that music video for anyone who didn't know is because Lil Nas X stated at some point, I forgot where he said this, but essentially, and I'm kind of paraphrasing, he's always had like a complicated relationship with religion, specifically Christianity, because obviously he's gay and a lot of the people who've been castigating him for essentially his entire life were Christians. So he used his platform to drop that music video as a way to respond to the excoriation that he's faced from his fellow Christians. Okay. Now I say fellow because if you guys did not know, Lil Nas X did actually grow up in a Christian household. All right, I'm going to head out. I'm going to leave the link down below so y'all can go check out Blackie's vid if you want to hear his analysis further. But I, I don't care about any possible reasons why he may be doing this. It, it does not matter. The point is he should not be doing this. This is disrespectful. And like I said, he's just doing it for attention. So it's also very corny. And I'm not a Christian. I'm not religious at all. So <laughs> I'm not personally offended by it. But I can definitely see how this is very disrespectful to people who are christian and people who you know you're you're isolating your fans who are christian at that so you're kind of like this is like a slap in the face to them when it's unnecessary if you want to convey in your music that you have this complicated relationship with christianity and with with jesus then then do that in your music sing about it rap about it get creative with it you're an artist you don't need to mock the religion like through imagery and I, I feel like you're literally doing this just for attention though i don't even feel like it's all oh, him trying to you know c convey his comp complex relationship no i, I just feel like he's doing this because he wants people to talk about him and his music and to click on it because it's been successful for him in the past so he's keeping it up that that's corny in my personal opinion. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.